All right, now the last show values as calculation that I want to share with you guys is one called index. And this is by far the most mysterious calculation. It's a bit more complicated than the other calculations. And as a result, a lot of people never even use it. So allow me to clarify exactly what the index calculation is used for and how you might be able to apply it in different ways. So in our pivot table, let's go ahead and pull out this rank calculation that we had created in the last lecture. And instead of looking at data by year, I'm going to pull years out into the filters column. And I actually want to look at a five-year sample of data. So I'm going to select 2011 as well. Press OK. And now I want to look at a two-dimensional uh, view of this data. So instead of just by genre, I want to also compare by country as columns. But instead of all of these columns where you have a lot of really low volume countries mixed in here, it's just kind of adding noise. So I'll apply a value filter to the country columns. Use the top 10 option to limit this down to just the five items or countries in terms of gross revenue. So there you have it. We've got a nice compact view here. And now what we can do is test showing these values as an index, which is down here all the way at the bottom. And what this does is it converts it into a number. And I'm actually going to format these with just two decimal places so that you can compare them a bit more easily. And you'll notice that each column equates to an index of 1, and each entire row also equates to an index of 1. And the best way to actually interpret these results is to look row by row and compare the index values across countries for each particular genre. So for example, revenues from action movies produce an index value of 0.98 for the US, 1.03 for the UK, 0 for New Zealand, 196 for France, and 165 for Australia. And comparing those numbers, we see that France generates the highest value, followed by Australia, then the UK, then the USA. And what these index values tell us is which genres carry the most weight or importance in terms of the contribution to each country's revenue as a whole. So even though the United States drives a much larger volume of action movie revenue, if we were to increase action movie sales by some flat percentage, or for instance, bump up the action movie ticket prices, the US film industry as a whole would see a smaller percent lift in revenue than France, Australia, or the UK. And in fact, if we change the show values as calculations to percent of column total, we kind of see a similar story here. So action movies account for the largest share of revenue in the French market, followed by Australia, UK, US, which follows the same pattern as our index values. So let's press undo there. But that's another way to kind of understand the relative weight that certain genres carry within each of these countries. And now I want to take this a step further to actually make this real and give you some context to really nail down what this means. So we can actually use calculations and real numbers to see this effect taking place. Now bear with me, this might get a little bit complicated, and a little bit messy. Um, if you do want to follow along, feel free. If not, that's cool too. But basically what I'm going to do is manually create a new revenue column that captures a hypothetical increase in action movie revenue specifically, and then we're going to look at a pre-post comparison at the country level. So in my raw data, I'm going to scroll over and add a new column here to the right of gross revenue. Let's call it test revenue. And I know we're not covering formulas in this course, uh, but what I'm going to do is use a conditional statement here and say if my genre field D2 equals action, then I want to perform some calculation, which in this case is gross revenue times, we'll say 1.2 to denote a 20% lift, comma over to the value if false clause. So if my genre is not equal to action, I just want to return Q2, which is the original gross revenue total. So I'll close that parenthesis off, apply this formula down, and as you scroll down, you should see cases where action movie titles are applying the 20% lift and non-action movie titles are not. So if we go back into our pivot and refresh, 
we'll see this new test revenue column become available. And now before we do anything else, what I want to do is remove the index calculation here and just show the actual values themselves. Now I'm going to grab this data, copy it, add a new tab, and just paste it right here as a hard-coded reference point. So this is no longer a pivot. These are actual hard-coded values that I'm just going to use to reference once we drop in the new revenue calculation that we just created. So now in my pivot, instead of looking at revenue, I'm going to pull out revenue and show the sum of test revenue. And we can go ahead and format that as a currency, no decimal places. And now all I really care about is this grand total line. Um, we can filter our country to get back to where we were before with just the top five items. And we end up with the same list, US, UK, New Zealand, France, Australia. Now if we grab these five new totals, which again account for that hypothetical 20% action film lift that we just created, we can copy that, paste it right here beneath our old totals, and drop in a percentage change calculation to see how it moved. So equals B17 minus B16 in parentheses divided by B16. We can format that as a percentage with a decimal point, center it. And if I just drag this calculation over, now we can see the percent change as a result of the action movie revenue adjustment that we applied. And just like the index values predicted, France sees the largest increase to its overall countrywide revenue of 15.8%, followed by Australia at 13.3, then the UK at 8.3, and finally the USA at 7.9. So that's the exact same trend that our index values predicted. So that's a pretty cool way to see this index value in a bit more of a tangible sense and actually see it in action. Um, so with that, I don't want to confuse things, so I'm going to delete this sheet that I just created, and I'm going to delete this column that we created and just kind of get back to our starting point, refresh the pivot again, and pull just gross revenue back in here. So obviously this example is a little bit abstract, but imagine that instead of looking at movie ticket sales by genre and country, we were actually analyzing revenues by product category and sales territories, which in that case, this type of index analysis might be really helpful when it comes to things like determining the impact of price changes for certain products or modeling out future sales region by region. Um, so anyway, that's your intro to the show values as index calculation. Hope it helps.